In July 2018, the Girl Guiding Programme, made up of all the activities and badges girls do, was given the biggest overhaul we've ever seen. So now we're going to see how two different units are getting to grips with the new programme. What life is like for girls and leaders at the heart of guiding. And how they make it work for every girl. and think about how many you Five, might find. Two, three. The girls definitely always have a lot of questions and you, you definitely don't always have the answer to it. Uh, this one is... What is it? I'm going to tell you. How can we see it in England? What's happened to your hair? Oh, it's tough being brown owl, isn't it? Well, so I'm a teacher as well and I think if I hadn't been a brownie leader, I wouldn't have become a teacher. I like it because it makes me do stuff that I've not done before. So that GoBots activity that we did today with the rainbows, we definitely would never have done that. It's kind of a little bit of getting your head around it and thinking, how is this going to work and who do I need to get to help me? You are going to be the robots and we've renamed you and we're going to call you GoBots, OK? One, two, three. We will be doing coding uh, our go -Go robots. Fifteen. Stop! Oh no, my GoBot has gone wonky! The Brownies um, were doing one of the unit meeting activities which was guiding in a bubble. I had an idea of how it would work but I hadn't had a chance to practice it. And so I got my two older guide helpers to have a practice while we were doing rainbows. We're trying to put as many bubbles into one big bubble at a time to represent one brownie and then a six and then a unit. We represent all the brownies in different countries and in all, di all over the place. So they that's what they represent as they get bigger. They popped. We sometimes just get asked to help out run the activities like quickly or set up an activity and things like that. Sometimes it can be a tiny bit stressful because you don't know 100% what you're doing. One of the girls particularly was really good at it and so that was lucky. When it came to demonstrating for the brownies I couldn't make it work at all but she could and so she was able to sort of come and help out and they do that a lot. Looking at the card it was really clear what we had to do. I think it's a pretty cool and it all goes smoothly. And then the guides were doing part of what will be an activity for a unit meeting activity which is about treasure seekers but for that treasure seekers activity they're supposed to be able to tie knots and I was pretty sure that they weren't going to know how to tie clay fitches, reef knots, fisherman's knot and so on so I wanted them to spend a bit of time practicing. We've got the figure of eight and the reef knots and we need to sort of work on the clay fitch and the fisherman's knot. It was fun and challenging. What I really like about my guides is that they really go for it with whatever you give them. And so because we said to them, this is a competition, they were, they were really up for that. Yay, I did it! <laughs> One of the activities that we've got planned is about muscles. And the card, um, when we read the instructions, just talked about arm muscles, leg muscles. Um, but we found it slightly strange that we weren't teaching the girls that the real muscle names. Uh, but actually then when we were talking, we realised that we didn't know them either. So um, we're going away to learn those so that we can share those with the girls um, and expand our knowledge as well as theirs. So. Tonight, we're going to look at the body. And we're going to look at what muscles you have in the body. Brown Owl gave us loads of muscles and we have to kind of think where they go. There's two easy ones, the eye and the heart, but the others we're kind of guessing. Um, I was 100% but the girls have really seemed to enjoy it, they've really got into it and even though they don't know where some of them go, they're having a good guess and they're communicating well with each other to work out where they're going. That one's not right either. That one's over there. I don't think it really matters if you know everything about it. I think it's good for leaders to learn at the same time as the girls. I enjoy doing things I've never done before because I learn new things when I do them. I love it because there's always some fun activities to do. So it has, especially this new programme, has made me have a go. It doesn't matter that you don't know how to do all the activities because it means that you try new things. Yes. <laughs> so I think the new programme's great because uh, regardless of whether you've got the experience or the knowledge for the activities, that you don't have to worry about that because it's all laid out for you and we can just run with it and have the fun that we're, we're here to have. So.